Hey boys and girls, I wanna show you how to take your weave off of your looms. This is good for fifth or sixth grade because everybody started the same way. Um, I'm borrowing a student, um, Luke, I appreciate you letting me do this. Um, the very first step is to take off all the tape, top and bottom, if you have tape on the top and bottom. So I'm gonna pull all of this off. If it tears the loom a little bit, that's okay. Um, even if you want to use it again, there's pro it'll probably be okay. And if you did fringe, you got to kind of remember to f that you do have tape underneath here and kind of go to the back and find it, but all tape. So I'm going to get this off and kind of pushing it up sometimes helps before you try to tear it across the top or the front. All right, almost there. And then also going to take these off or just un like detach these. So in sixth grade, the warp or the verticals was dark gray. In the fifth grade this time, it was black. It could be different for, for other people. Basically what you do is you take this warp and you pull it forward to the front. Now, if you have fringe, you can kind of actually just let it lay and that's it. But if you don't have fringe, you want to take this warp and this, this piece that you started weaving and you're going to knot it close, double knot it close to the weave. And when you do that, it's just like tying a knot for a tennis shoe because, and these are short, so it should be pretty easy. Now in this case, um, his colors are not using these. So I am assuming that he would want them trimmed. So trim, leaving a couple little bunny ears like that. That's the bottom of this one. Now when I go up here to the top, everybody should look similar. So I'm going to pull this forward. This is the warp here, the gray. Um, he has his knotted on his um, here. Let me see. Oh, there it is. The end. He has this knotted onto his needle. You're going to take your needle off and keep whatever length you have. If it's super long, you want to trim it about this length. Perfect. And then the same thing, you're just gonna take those two pieces and you're going to crisscross them and tie a knot kind of close, but not too tight so that it changes the shape, but just kind of put a little knot there at the top. And then again, you can take these and you can give them a little bunny ear trim like that. Take those off. Then um, it's time to take it off the loom. This is the fun part. You kind of pull forward and you pull all the um, loops off of the tabs here. See, sometimes they're a little tricky to get them off. And let's see here. Once you get it off one end, it's pretty easy. It becomes kind of limp. I like to just kind of hold this down and kind of pull this off. There. So this is kind of what the back looks like. And then this is what the front looks like. If you have any little knots that you want to push through to the back, you can kind of push those through. Here's one little one that can get kind of pushed through. Sometimes I like to take the needle and just kind of poke it through and it pushes it through to the back. These on the side, you know, don't bother me at all. Then you need a stick. And if you don't have, if I haven't provided a stick at school, you can find one outside. Any kind of stick works. And then you just kind of fish this through. The usually sticks are kind of easy to get caught on these loops because they aren't smooth on the ends. Kind of fish this through the top. And if you don't want to use a stick, you could use something else, um, like a little dowel or even a colored, like some kind of pencil that you're not using. Anything like that will work. Anything just to hang it on. And then kind of get those spaced out nicely. Then you can take a piece of yarn. Let's see if I have an extra piece of yarn that I can use for tying a piece to the top here. So, let's see, that's not quite the right colors. Take a bright white and cut off a piece here. Any kind of piece, I'm going to tie another double knot on one end 
and then tie a double knot on the other end. And you really don't need a big loop because the loop will kind of hang um, with the weight of the weave and it'll kind of be taller than you think. So I'm gonna kind of try to make this not super, super big. And then you're really done. Get this tied there, nice and tight. Can trim these again. And then I've got this long piece here. So now I can hang it on anything. Can hang it on a um, door handle, can hang it on a knob of a cabinet, or if you have a little, like one of those little um, command sticky hooks that works like I have in the classroom and you can hang it up at home someplace. And that is it, pretty simple. Good luck.